Well, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and today we are going to be talking about some romance tropes. So what I'm going to be doing is I wrote down five of my all-time favorite romance tropes and I'm going to give you one recommendation and one book that's on my TBR. I just thought that this would be fun. Um, I love talking about different tropes and my favorite tropes. Love doing recommendation videos and I love doing TBR videos so I figured I would just combine them. So before we get into that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video and that is Ana Luisa. So I have worked with Ana Luisa in the past, but if you don't know who they are, they are a jewelry company that's based in New York that makes absolutely beautiful pieces. I find their pieces so beautiful and delicate and elegant. They are high quality, they last so long. I have had these earrings in my second hole. I bought them three years ago with my own money and I wore them not even lying every single day. Every single day. I have probably changed them a handful of times in the three years that I've had them and I sleep with them and I shower with them and they are still as pristine as the day that I bought them. They do not tarnish. They are, it just speaks to the quality of the jewelry. So I normally am a big earrings person but this time I decided to go for some necklaces. These two necklaces that I'm wearing right now come in a set. They're stacking necklaces. There is this shorter one. They're both gold, but there's this shorter one that just has like little balls on it. It's very simple. And then this little longer one just has this like circle pendant on it. And it's very simple, but I love that. It's so pretty. So for today, I'm just wearing like a flannel and a bodysuit, and I think it, it works perfectly with it. But I've also worn them out to events and been able to like dress it up a little bit with like different earrings. And they just work for every occasion. Annalisa also sent me a second necklace, which is this heart necklace, which I hope you can see. In the center of the heart, it is opalescent. It's like shiny and pretty, and the chain is gold. They do also have silver jewelry, so uh, something for everyone. Their company is 100% carbon neutral and cares about the environment. All of their packaging comes in either cardboard, which can be recycled, or these reusable little cases. So this necklace that I'm wearing came in two cardboard holders inside this pouch which is just has these like magnetic clasps on it and then it has like a little pocket inside these are reusable and so useful i have used them to travel like when i travel and to like keep my jewelry separate and not lose it so i love that they cut all that their jewelry comes in these kinds of packaging it's so much more useful and so much better for the environment than plastic or anything like that. Anna Luisa is currently having a big sale, getting ready for their big Black Friday sale, so head over to their website and check out the biggest sale of the year that they have. Their pieces are so, so beautiful. It is the perfect time to head over and grab something for yourself or as a gift for somebody else. I love getting jewelry as a gift and I actually have gifted Anna Luisa jewelry to my family members. I gave my mom a pair of earrings that she loves and wears all the time. So jewelry makes the perfect simple gift and their jewelry is very affordable and now even more on sale with their big black friday sales so head over to their website and check out Anna Luisa jewelry i highly highly recommend it so with that out of the way let's get into today's video i did choose five and the first trope that i wrote down that's one of my all-time favorites is i hate everyone but you this kind of energy in a romance book just makes me so happy because another one of my favorite tropes is grumpy hero and I feel like this really encompasses that. For this trope the recommendation that I'm going to give you is Song of the Abyss by Emma Hamm. So this is actually a monster slash fantasy slash paranormal style romance. This one is set underneath the ocean. It is set in a world where humans have destroyed the earth and so they have moved underneath the water into these large glass domes and all humans are living under the water because the earth is not survivable and when they move down into the ocean they find out that there are creatures down there and the humans don't like that because they want to be the only ones 
And the undines, which is what the creatures are called, which are these like scary mermaid style creatures, do not like humans because the humans are now polluting their oceans. So in this one, the heroine for this one is the daughter of one of the very high ups in human society. He is responsible for a lot of the damage, a lot of the like threats that the Undines face. And so the Undines wanting to get back at the humans and like strike back and like win this basically war that that's going on. The hero who is a very like tortured hero that's more cast off from his family, from his culture, he sneaks in to this um, underwater dome through the pipes and it's set to kidnap the heroine, but she wants to go with him. And it is their romance together. It is, it's not really enemies to lovers, but, but it has that kind of same energy because he hates humans and he wants to get back at humans. But then when he meets her and he has to, starts to get to know her, he realizes what a good person she is and how much he likes her and I love this one also because they can't communicate also so like they speak different languages so it does have that trope as well in it but the hero himself is just incredibly grumpy mad at the world mad at himself and just hates everyone and he cannot help but love the heroine and it's just so freaking cute the book that I have on my TBR for this trope is one that Avery from Ava's Romance Books recommended and that's called His to Sorrow by Amelia Rossi. I have never read this author but Avery was talking about it and it just sounded really really good. It is a mafia romance that also features dis disability representation but according to Avery uh, they he hero is this like high up like mafia boss guy and he is in an arranged marriage with the heroine and he is not happy about it and he is just a badass mafia guy and just hates everyone and is not happy that he has to marry the heroine but ends up falling for her. I'm really excited for it. The next trope that I have is one of my all-time favorite tropes that I need to read more of. So if you have recommendations for this trope, I know I've said it before, but please leave them in the comments because I'm always wanting to read this. And that is older woman, younger man. So my recommendation for this trope is one that I read recently, and that is The Waiter at Table 6 by Nikki Castle. This is actually a novella and the heroine in this one has recently gotten divorced and she has moved to this like beach town. She's ready to start dating again and she sets up a date and heads to a restaurant and the guy stands her up and the hero is the waiter who comes to her table to serve her and he is so sweet and he loves it like the worship that he has for her he thinks that she is the most beautiful woman in the entire world when he finds out that she gets stood up he basically is like any man that would stand you up is not a man that's deserving of you because you are the most beautiful woman in the world it's so so romantic and i really loved it it has such good spice and the nikki castle can write her spice so so well and this book also has quite a bit of development for uh, such a short book so i really 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 loved it and would highly recommend it the book that's on my tbr for this one is another one that was recommended to me by avery and that is the wild ones by daisy jane so i don't know a ton about this one i saw that it was older woman younger man and i added it to my tbr but I know that this is also a single mom romance, I believe, and that's about all I know about it. <laughs> the next trope that I have is Why Choose Romance. I love Why Choose Romance. I have two, I think, maybe three full Why Choose Romance recommendation videos, so I will link those down below. I think I also have an older woman, younger man recommendation video, like full recommendation video, so I'll link that down below too. But Why Choose is, I will never stop reading Why Choose. I love it. And I love both Polly and 
like the heroine with the guys and the guys don't sword cross so either option I'm fine with obviously I love a poly a little bit more but I'm always down for anything when it comes to that and the recommendation that I have for this one is a really interesting one and that is Killer of Mine by Alexis Grace. I read this book in September and it is about a heroine who is a police officer who is also the daughter of a serial killer but nobody knows that and she is at the police station um, and she go she is watching this talk that this man from the FBI is giving about this serial killer who's like a very prolific serial killer who's never been caught and she makes a comment about it that the police officer like clocks because he hadn't thought of that and he just like his like spidey sense is tingling about it he's like gets suspicious and he and his whole unit which are like basically like the behavioral analysis unit from criminal minds they're like the serial killer unit they all have a romance with this heroine and it's so good it has so much like intrigue in this one it has there's so much going on and so much development and it's so interesting i will note that this one does end on a bit of a cliffhanger this does not end in like a full HEA. I do think that there is going to be a second book so I'm really excited about that and I don't know if it's been announced like when that one is coming out but I still really recommend book one. I thought it was so cool. The book that I have on my TBR for this trope is actually one that I just added to my TBR like yesterday. I uh, got a bookshop, a independent romance bookshop followed me on Instagram and it is a bookshop that talks a lot about curvy and plus size heroines and I went and I was like looking through their bookshop.org site and I came across this book and it's called My Brother's Teammates by Melissa Ivers and it is a wide shoes plus size heroine hockey romance and I was like I'm sold so it's obviously a brother's teammate romance but what I remember reading from the synopsis is that the heroine's boyfriend breaks up with her or she walks in on him cheating on her something along those lines and she was living with him so she has to leave and she goes to go live with her brother who is a hockey player and when she gets there she finds out that her brother has a bunch of roommates also so he has a bunch of like people on his team that he's rooming with and the heroine ends up in a romance with a bunch of guys on his team which I think are all I think there's four so it ends up being a reverse harem or why choose romance with the heroine and a bunch of her brother's teammates and according to the synopsis it's also like a secret from her brother too so it's like got that little bit of like forbidden aspect to it so I'm really excited about it. I downloaded it on Kindle Unlimited immediately and I'm very very excited to read it. The next trope that I have is He Falls First. This trope makes me melt every single time. A hero who is so in love and obsessed with the heroine just makes me just like all in my feels. I love this especially a hero who has liked her for like a really long time and that is the case for the book that I'm going to be recommending for this trope and that is If You Need Me by Helena Hunting. I loved this book. This is her most recent book release in the Toronto Terror series and it is also a fake engagement romance. So in this one the hero Dallas has been in love with the heroine since he was in like third grade and he was super popular in high school and the heroine was very not and she kind of puts him into the the blame of the people who bullied her in high school and so she does not like him but now they're grown and they both work together on the Toronto Terror hockey team. He is a professional hockey player and she is the head of the PR department and they have to work together and he's constantly wanting to like do things with her and she thinks it's to annoy her but it's actually because he wants to spend any possible second that he can with her and he wants her attention even if it's like negative attention but he loves her so so much and 
he, the when he gets the chance to end up having to fake date her he like jumps at the opportunity and he gets to finally like show her how much he's cared for her all of these years and it is so so cute the spice in this one is so good helena did such a good job with this one and i absolutely love it so make sure that you pick this one up it can be read as a standalone the book on my tbr for this one is another one that's recommended by avery avery is just like running this video here running my tbr which is not a new thing. I get so many recommendations from Avery. I love her book taste. But this one is Finding Jean Kelly by Tori Jean. I have wanted to read this book for a really, really long time and I just have not gotten to it. But I really want to make it a priority, especially since I had a really bad flare up like two weeks ago. And this book features endometriosis rep, own voices endometriosis rep. So I'm, I really want to experience that um, or read about a, a heroine who experiences the same things that I do. I don't know a ton about the actual plot of the story, but it has endometriosis rep. Avery says it's hero falls first. Avery loves it. I want to read it. So the last trope that I have for this video is romantic suspense. I have loved this trope for a really long time. I love this in... TV. I love this in movies. It has to have a romance in it. So it has to be romance, but I love having a suspense element to it. I think it just adds so much to the story. And I love that that is always like a lot of the times where the conflict comes from. So it's like external conflict. You don't have to worry about a lot of like internal like relationship conflict, which I really appreciate. And for this one, I'm going to talk about Bourbon and Lies. I happen to have the book right here. So I grabbed it. I love this book so, so much. It's going to be on my top of favorites for this year for sure. And this one is about a heroine who witnessed something that she is now in danger because of and she ends up going into witness protection and she gets sent to the hero's ranch, I guess for lack of a better word, property um, in Fiasco, Kentucky. And his name is Grant Fox, and he and his brothers and his family own Fox Bourbon, and he and his brothers make bourbon, and she ends up coming, and he has a past. Um, he used to be a police officer, but witnessed somebody he loved die in the line of duty, and so he is no longer a police officer, but he has a lot of, like, scars because of that, and so he is not quick to trust the heroine and wants to know what she's doing there, what's going on. So they have amazing banter and this man, this man, I was dying reading this book. I fell so hard for him. It is so, so good. The suspense is so intriguing. I love that he used to be a police officer. So like he knows a lot of stuff about the situation that she could be in it in. So he has a lot of like theories and it's so interesting. I loved it so, so much. The like twist at the end that I really wasn't expecting, I really loved. So big, big fan of this book. And for the book that's on my TBR for this one is actually a recommendation that I got from Tori from Novel Life. And that is Broken Beginnings by Cleo Evans. Apparently, if you liked Bourbon and Lies, you'll probably like Broken Beginnings. Tori did a, if you like this, try this one video and those were the two that she was talking about and I'm really intrigued because I did not know that Cleo Evans had other books that weren't like monster or alien romances so I'm very intrigued to see because I have read um, some of her monster romances so I'm intrigued to see how she does with romantic suspense but Tori really liked it so I am very excited to read it and will be hoping to get to it soon. So that is it though. That is the five tropes that I was going to talk about. Let me know if you like this style of video and you want me to do more tropes for it. But that's going to be it. So make sure that you go and check out Ana Luisa Jewelry. The link is in my description to head over and look at their sale. You definitely want to pick some things out while it is so on sale. Like I said, it is their biggest sale of the year and their pieces last so, so long. So head over there or head to the link in my description and get some gifts for yourself and your friends from Ana Luisa. But also like this video if you liked it, subscribe, stick around, and see more content from me, and I hope that you have the absolute best day.